name is John Bud Long. I flew a B-25 in the Philippines. Tactical missions, low altitude attacks. On my 23rd mission, we were hit and had to come down behind Japanese lines. We found an airstrip that looked abandoned, but we couldn't be sure. There was no way of telling what to expect, when and if we landed safely. is an instrument of flight. A 55-gallon steel drum, which carries enough aviation fuel to keep a B-25 bomber in the air for 16 minutes, an F-86 Sabre jet, approximately seven and a half minutes, and a B-50 for about seven minutes. A useful, but ordinarily not a very exciting piece of equipment. Yet on Luzon, near the end of World War II, a drum of this type but to an ingenious use by the crew of a B-25, figured in what was one of the most exciting events of that campaign. The B-25 was flying a mission that day, deep into enemy territory. The pilot was Captain John Budlow. His co-pilot was Lieutenant Lewis K. Fowler. The bombardier was Lieutenant Thomas M. Cullen. Goalpost 7. Goalpost 7. This is Baker 25 George. Baker 25 George. We've been hit. We're going to try for an emergency landing. Stand by. Maybe we ought to bail out, Johnny. I can't get enough altitude. Where are you going? Atlantic strip we passed on the way up. Should be over here a couple of miles. That enemy strip? It looked abandoned to me. Looked. Those hills are probably crawling with enemy troops. You're trying to dump us in a prison camp. It's better than cracking up here. Well, who says we got to crack up? Our, our own lines are only about 10 miles from here. Let's try to make it to one of our own airstrips. On that engine? I say we try to make it home. How about you? The captain's flown 23 missions in this ship. You've flown one. You better get ready to fight, though. Like I said, there's nobody home. Yeah. Could be crawling with nips over there. Give me some wheels. Yeah, that's gonna look pretty silly against enemy machine guns.
Go for seven. This is Baker, two five George. Go for seven. This is Baker, two five George. Go for seven. This is Baker, two five George. Do you read me? Jeff, yes. Go post seven. This is Baker, two five George. Do you read me? Over. Come in, go post seven. This is Baker, two five George. Seat you, seat you. Do you read me? Now it looks like we caught an artillery shell under there. A shell? Might be tanks in those woods. Get any help. Tommy! Maybe this truck will run it! Get down! Mines! This whole strip must be mined. That's with it, the landing gear. They must have been expecting our paratroops. Hang on, Tommy, I'm coming! Are you kidding? There must be a dozen mines between here and that truck. I know, I know. The life raft. There's a sack of marker die in it. Get it. What for? I'm going to mark the route I take getting to Tommy. If I get there, I want to be able to get back. I can do that. Hey, stay back. No sense in both of us getting clobbered. It only takes 15 pounds to set off one of those babies. Now we'll have you fixed up in no time. Can you move? 
We should have known there'd be mines. Check the truck. What for? We couldn't get more than 10 yards in it. We can't stay here. We've got to try to get out. It's no good. The engine's wrecked. Shells are coming from the south. Yeah. That could be our own artillery. Hey, that is our stuff. Getting zeroed in in those hills over there. Can you see something? Yeah. Our boys aren't pounding those hills for nothing. Yeah, I can see something in the hill over there. Looks like plenty of them. Yeah, they're getting set to plaster us all over this field. That feel any better? Doesn't mean they aren't getting any closer. Wait till that barrage lifts. Maybe. Maybe we better try to get back to the plane. If anything hit those gas tanks, that ship would turn into a funeral pyre. We got the emergency radio. I'll get it. out a line of sight signal. It'll never get past those hills. Try it anyway. Go Bull 7, this is Baker, 2-5 joint. Over here. Sounds like an 05. Must be an observer plane directing that artillery. Hello, observer. Hello, observer. This is Baker, 2-5 George. Do you read me? There. Observer, this is Baker 25 George. Look down on the field. You're in the wrong channel. It's only got one channel. It's going away. channel now. Stand by. Hello, Observer. Do you read me? You can't come in, Observer. Pull up, Observer. Pull up. The field is mine.
to come in. An enemy patrol is headed for the ridge north of the field. When they spot you, you've had it. Let him come in. He needs medics soon. Hello, observer. Hello. How much runway do you need? 300 feet to come down, five or 600 to get off again. All right, you stay up there. We'll try to clear a strip for you. Clear a strip? How? I don't know, but stand by. OK, but get cracking. You've only got a few minutes till that enemy patrol reaches the ridge. You're flipping your lid. 100 feet, 200 feet maybe, but 500 feet. Look, we already got 200 feet. They're behind this ship. She slid that far. She cleared out the mines. All we got to do is tack on 300 more. Come on. How much weight did you say it took to set off one of those mines? 15 pounds. All right, grab one of these. Grab that rifle, Tommy. You might need it. Grab that sack of marker, Di, and a couple of those boards from the back of the truck. Boards? What for? A ramp to roll these drums out. They'll set off every mine they touch. Oh, we'll never make it. We'll be right out in the open. Come on, get busy. No, 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 no. It's still a little late for that. Maybe we'd, we'd better try to make a run for it. Look, we'll try to get a board for Tommy, and then we'll, we'll go into the woods. Come on, snap out of it. But I'm trying to tell you. You've already told me. Now stop shooting off your mouth and get busy. Look, Fowler, I'm just as scared as you are, believe me. George to observer four. How about some more artillery to slow up that patrol? Observer four to Rainmaker, fire mission. X24 Y16, four rounds HE, fire for effect. It's too late. We're down to the wire. That'll hold him. Keep it up, pal. You're doing fine. Hit him again, Rainmaker. Adjust a hundred left. like they got a mortar. Where are they? About 200 yards from you. I'll fly over them. Now watch. Right 
here. guys unless we strip her to the bone. Hey, Lieutenant, maybe you better make two trips. I'll wait for the second load. No time. Those enemy troops are moving up. After all that TNT? They took cover and waited it out. They'll be on that ridge in no time. Hey, maybe you better call the paratroops about those mines. I did. All right, let's get Tommy. Get those belts off. Even a pound will make a difference. tell you more about the crew of Baker 25 George. The crew of Baker 25 George was back in the Philippine fight within a few days. Their rescue was a demonstration of that courage and ingenuity which has always been a part of the story of flight. Mm -hmm. 